This week is going to be an exciting one in the studio. I've had a bit of a not normal morning for me. I'm going to spend this morning figuring out the settings for sublimating. It's going to be a bit of an experiment. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new week in the studio. Today it is Monday the 11th of March and I've just sat down in my office and we're going to start getting on with work for the week. So today is going to be mainly focused on packing orders because I've got, I think I've got one Shopify order to pack, maybe two, I think it's one, and I've got quite a few Etsy orders to get packed as well today. But before we get started with that, I just wanted to sit down and just say thank you so much for the support I've had recently on the last video that I posted, which was all about Teamu stealing my greeting card designs. I was really quite nervous to post that video because I didn't know how it would be received and I just put it out there with the thought in my head that if that video stops even one person from ever buying from Teemu again then I'll take that as a win and there have been so many comments saying like I did not realise this was going on on Teemu and I've had so many messages on Instagram and stuff like that so I think that's definitely my job done and I've managed to spread some awareness about companies like Teemu and Shein is another the one AliExpress taking small businesses designs and using them and selling them as their own yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for the support on that video I was so incredibly grateful and it's still receiving quite a lot of views and comments at the minute so I just really hope that video will continue to be pushed out there for people to see and for people to realize that that's what's going on on Teemu and shops like that online yeah just thank you so much so before we get cracking on with starting to pack the orders, I also need to reply to some emails quickly. So I'm gonna do that, that's my first job for today. And then I think pretty much the rest of the day will be packing orders. I'll see how quickly I can get through them, but I wanna kind of catch up with all my orders and get them all out today. And I have 55 open Etsy orders, and like I said, either one or two Shopify orders, I can't remember off the top of my head. So yeah, I think that's gonna take up pretty much the whole day. So this vlog won't be a day in the life, it'll be a weekly vlog, so I'm gonna film over at least a few days for you guys because I know from a few vlogs ago I asked if you liked seeing the day in the life vlogs or weekly vlogs and lots of you said you like a mix of both so that is what I'm gonna cater to. This week is gonna be an exciting one in the studio as well um, although we won't be doing this today because today is a packing order day. You may notice in the background I've got a different printer here and I used to have my Canon Pixma inkjet printer and I had two of those but one of them never got used so I decided to sell that printer so it's on Facebook marketplace but if any of you guys want it and can collect from Lincolnshire then feel free to message me on Instagram but yeah it wasn't getting any use so I decided to take the plunge and I'm selling that printer and I've replaced it with a sublimation printer which means I can now sublimate on products I don't know why I haven't done this sooner I think it's literally just because I didn't have space for a printer um, but now I've got my auto heat press from HTV run I can sublimate onto so many things and I just thought I want to get as much use out of my heat press as possible and to do that I need a sublimation printer so yeah we're going to be experimenting this week with sublimating some products like coasters and mouse mats and things and if it all goes to plan then there may be some new Neville products dropping on the shop which is my spring bear character. We launched a collection for him earlier this month on the 2nd of March so if these products all go well then we may have some extra Neville products come in in a couple of weeks as like a little mini part two Neville collection drop so that's really exciting so we're going to be experimenting with sublimation as well this week so yeah let's get some emails replied to and get cracking with packing some orders <laughs>
aujourd'hui. Again, I've just got home from my mum's. I went there for a coffee because she's got my nephew today, she's looking after him, and my nan was there as well, so I went and had a catch up with all of them and had a bit of a play with my nephew, which was lovely. But I'm now home, I managed to get my Shopify orders packed this morning, there was only two to do, and I got all my emails replied to, so I'm feeling productive already and it's now 20 past 12. I've just got home and there was a parcel waiting for me outside the door so we're going to unbox that together and it's some sublimation blanks that I've bought that I'm going to test out in this week's studio vlog. Probably not today but I thought we'll unbox them so we know exactly what we've got in here. So the first thing I got in the package is some MDF coasters that I'm going to try and sublimate my designs onto. I actually ordered some of these from Amazon and I made a couple of coasters for my mum and for Lewis's mum for Mother's Day and they worked really really well and although I really liked the quality of those ones off Amazon, I heard that um, Longfort they're called do really good sublimation blanks, one of my patrons told me about them. So I thought I'd try their MDF coasters because they're a little bit cheaper as well but they look pretty much the same as the ones I ordered from Amazon so I have high hopes for those and I've also ordered some keychains so we can try and sublimate a design onto these so these are polymer clay key rings I believe so they're just circular white ones and they've got a silver clasp to go on them as well so you can put them on your keys and I really need to think about what designs I want to put onto these and sublimate onto them but I think they could be super cute and I'm really excited to try them so yeah at some point in this week's studio vlog we will be testing out some MDF coasters and key rings and I also have something else too I also have some mouse mat sublimation blanks that we're going to be testing out as well and I have tested one of these out a few days ago before the weekend I think it was Friday it turned out really well so we're going to test some more designs on these mouse mat sublimation blanks so yeah we've got the coasters key rings mouse mats we probably are going to test those tomorrow or Wednesday We'll see, but that's super exciting. So for the rest of today, I'm going to now crack on and get my Etsy orders packed. Like I said earlier, I think I've got about 55 to do, unless any more have come in since this morning. Then I'll get those done as well and packed and sent today. And then at three o'clock, I need to leave because I'm at a band rehearsal this evening for my part-time music teaching job. Um, so yeah, I need to leave at three o'clock. So I've got about two and a half hours to try and get as many of these Etsy orders packed as I can. So let's see how many I can get done.
So I did actually have 56 orders that I was going to dispatch today but there was only 20 that had to be dispatched either today or tomorrow. So I've done all those ones and then I've got 36 open orders but they don't need to start being dispatched until the 13th so I'll dispatch those ones tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is now the next day, so it's Tuesday the 12th of March. I've just sat down in my office, it's half past nine. I've had a bit of a not normal morning for me because it's raining outside. Otis didn't want to go for a walk straight away because he has to pluck up the courage to go for a walk in the rain because he's a dashend and they hate the rain. So <laughs> I came into my office and I actually made a head start on editing this vlog. So I edited yesterday's footage, I was in here at like half seven. I've like rough edited it and then he was kind of getting more awake so I took him for a walk got myself all wet um, but it didn't really matter because my hair was wet from a shower anyway and yeah I've just sat back down in my office ready to get started on some other stuff for today so as I mentioned yesterday I'm going to spend today or this morning because I'm teaching this afternoon I'm going to spend this morning kind of figuring out the settings for sublimating the mouse mats coasters and key rings so we're going to attempt to try all three this morning we'll see how we get on with that it's going to be a bit of an experiment like I said yesterday I have already tested the mouse mats and coasters but I've never tested the key rings before so I'm going to be putting the same design on all of them I'll show you the design on screen now it's the Neville I'm not lost I'm just getting my bearings design which is on quite a lot of the products in the Neville Spring Adventure collection so we're gonna broaden that a little bit and put it on a mouse mat coaster and keyring and see how they come out so before we actually get to sublimating the products I said on Instagram that I would kind of share my sublimation experimentation and a lot of people wanted to know exactly what printer I went for and sublimation ink and things like that so I did actually get some clips or I got Lewis to film some little clips of when I got the printer and set it up and stuff. So I went for the Epson ET2820. It's one of their eco tanks and it came with all the Epson ink to put into it but obviously I needed to put sublimation ink in it to turn it into a sublimation printer but just be warned that if you do that then the guarantee and stuff on your printer is not valid because you're kind of messing with the printer like you're not putting the proper inks in it so I've turned it into a sublimation printer which it's not really meant to be if that makes sense so I went for the Hippo sublimation inks because quite a lot of people on Instagram recommended those to me and I'm really happy with them so far I've only tested a couple of things and obviously we'll test some more stuff today but yeah you just kind of had to syringe the inks into the printer and that was pretty much it it was quite simple to set up but you just got to be really careful like make sure you wear gloves and things so that you don't get the ink everywhere and be careful not to spill it obviously I was really careful of that because I thought it was going to go everywhere but you've just got to take your time I set aside an entire evening to set the printer up and it probably did take me a good between an hour and two hours I'd say and it's all ready to go now it's this one here so we're gonna get the sublimation blanks measured and then the designs sent to the printer and then I will come back to you when we're ready to press them with the heat press <laughs> I'm gonna try the coasters first so I'm gonna put the machine on and I'm gonna put it to 370 degrees and then I'm gonna change the time to 60 seconds and now I'll just let that heat up while I cut out the designs so it's now up to temperature and I've got the MDF coaster here and it did have a protective film on it that I've taken off. And I'm just gonna put that in first just to dehydrate the coaster and get rid of any moisture that's in it. So I'm just gonna press it for about um, 10 seconds. Ok 
Okay, it's cooled down a little bit now. I've just realised you can't see because the paper's curling. <laughs> but it's cooled down a little bit. So I've got my design here. I've flipped it. So the writing is backwards, as you can see. So that's because when it goes onto the coaster, it will be the right way around. So I've mirrored it. So I'm just going to position the coaster on top and make sure that it's all covered with the design which hopefully it will be because i have added a little bit of bleed as well around the edge that's looking good and then i've got some heat resistant tape and i'm just going to tape it down onto the coaster so it doesn't move anywhere so this is what it looks like on the paper at the minute and i'm going to put another bit of parchment on the bottom and then I'm going to flip this one over so that the sublimation paper hits the heat first to go onto the coaster. And then I'm going to pop that under, put the sheet that comes with the heat press on top as well. So we're just making sure that none of the ink is going to go through onto the um, mat of the heat press. That's why we're using the parchment. And then I'm going to put that under at 370 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. So it has now just finished, so I really need to get some heat resistant gloves, I don't have any at the minute. I know some of you are going to be thinking, what an idiot. But if I'm careful, it has been okay and I want to get this off as soon as I can. So I'm just going to gently peel off the tape. I've got long nails so that can be a bit of a barrier between the heat and my skin. <laughs> but yeah, I do really need to get some gloves this is not recommended don't try this at home guys get some gloves do as i say not do as i do okay and then i'm just going to lift the coaster off oh my god <gasps> no that is so cute as if it's worked the first time i thought the colors might be a bit wrong but they're not they're literally perfect oh my god it's so cute wow i'm so happy with that the colors are literally perfect that is amazing right let's try the key rings next okay the key ring has just finished i've just done one side for now but they will be double sided so let's have a look and see what this has turned out like so i turned the temperature down a little bit for these but i turned the time up to 120 seconds oh it's so cute i'm going to show you it in a minute because it is really hot i literally can't hold it up yeah it's transferred really well so i'll show you it once it's cooled down guys we have mouse mats coasters and key rings they somehow all managed to work first time i don't know how that happened but i'm not complaining i just wasn't expecting it so as you saw the coasters turned out so well I'll just give you a little close-up look. How cute are they? They're so cute. And then the cork on the back. So these are MDF coasters. Again, these will be coming to the shop. I'm just not exactly sure when yet. We then have the little key rings. How sweet are these? So the print quality on these is not as good as the coaster, but I think it's the material of the key ring. I don't know if you'll be able to see it very well. But it's kind of like a frosted matte kind of texture, almost like my die cut stickers if you've ever bought them before. Um, so I think it's just the texture of the keyring that's made it look a little bit, not blurry, but hopefully you guys can see what I mean. But the text is still really readable. So let me know in the comments if you received this keyring. Would you be happy with that or would you be thinking, oh, that's a little bit blurry? Because if if so, I can look for some others, but I think it looks super cute. I also need to get some pliers so I can properly fix the silver keychain on the top. But that is the double-sided key ring. And then the last thing I tried was the mouse mat, which is here. So this is a fabric mouse mat, so it's not MDF like the coaster. But I just think that's turned out so well. There was a little bit of a patch here at the top where I've kind of missed and it's gone white, so the blue sky has not gone right to the edge. So I may just need to make the print design slightly bigger so there's a little bit more bleed. But I'm super happy with that. I think all three of these things I've tested have turned out so well. I'm so happy with 
this sublimation printer and the ink that I've bought everything just seems to be coming out really well so I will leave a link to the printer I've used and bought in the description and the inks and everything and I think it worked out in total to be around just over 200 pounds I think I think the printer was 180 and the ink was about 40 pounds so I think it was about 220 pounds for the sublimation setup and then obviously if you don't have a heat press you'd have to factor in getting a heat press as well but I was really kindly sent this auto heat press by HTV Ront which I'm so grateful for I love it but yeah I'm super happy with these little bits so I think what I might do is just continue to make some more of these today it's half 10 now so I've been experimenting for a little bit and I'm also gonna edit the footage I filmed today and get this up in the vlog for you so I can kind of try and keep on top of it so I can get it up at the end of this week. But before I sign off for today, I just wanted to quickly talk about what's going on with Teamu at the minute. So I had an email from a woman who works at Teamu and she said she'd seen the video that I've posted about my designs being stolen and things and she was basically saying this is not what they stand for and I explained that I can report the listings as infringement of designs and stuff and I said in my reply I was like I have done that but what more is going to be done because it's impossible for small business owners to be going on this portal every day to mark their listings as being infringed and although it is good that they have that portal there to be used to get your listings taken down it's just not sustainable we can't be doing that all the time so I've said in my email back to her like what more is going to be done because that is not the only solution and I listed some of the sellers I found on Teamu that are selling all infringed greeting cards of small businesses that I recognise, like there's Coco Natasha's cards on there, Amelia Elwood designs, literally all their cards are stolen designs and there's a few sellers on Team You Like That that I found within just a quick minute search and I listed them in the email and she's replied back again saying, you know, this is not what we stand for, we will be looking into it further and stuff and that they do take sellers shops down on Team You if they are consistently infringing material which these shops are so I'm going to email back and say please confirm that these sellers have been you know terminated from Teamu or something because they need to be all of their designs are stolen like there's no question about it but a lot of you asked in my last video of the Teamu shenanigans exactly what the process is for getting your designs taken down off team you so i did screen record this when i found that my cards had actually been put back up since posting that video so i had to report them as infringed again using their portal so i will leave a link to that portal page down below so if you ever find any of your items on team you then you can report them using that and i'll insert a little clip now of exactly how you can get your products and listings taken down off team you if they have been stolen so here is the team you list in of my greeting card that they've stolen. <laughs> so this appeared after I posted the YouTube video and that's my original one. So you want to go to the team you support center and scroll down to policies and then you'll see a section that says how to report intellectual property infringement. And then when you click the drop down bit of that, you need to click on the IP portal. It will then bring you to this page where you can start filling out the form of the notice of infringement. So you just need to select your location and what exactly is being copied. So for me, it's the design because I don't have a patent or copyright trademark or anything. And then the first thing you need to do is get the link of the team you listing of your design and then put that in this first box here. Then you need to select all these appropriate points here so I've literally selected all of them just to be on the safe side but it was mostly the bottom one that applied to me for the next section the little box I just put exactly what's being copied so I've put it's a direct copy of my original greeting card design that I sell on Etsy and Shopify and then although it doesn't ask for this I also put a link to my original listing just so that they've got it there as well and you can upload files as well like screenshots but I just missed that part out because I've got the link in there you then need to put the registration number I didn't actually have one of these so I just put croc world one your name and then your country then when you click next, you then need to just put your name in again, your phone number and your address, but it's not your full address, literally just country um, and like city or whatever. I just put United Kingdom and England. So 
country where I live and then you need to put your email address and they will then send you a verification code once you click on that send verification code button and then you need to pop that in and click next and then you need to sign the notice by ticking the box and putting your name in again as your signature and click submit and that's it done. Hopefully you guys found that useful and you can refer back to this if you ever find yourself in the same situation as I did. But I'm going to love you and leave you for today because like I said I'm going to get a head start on editing the footage from today of trying the sublimation. And then the next time I see you will be tomorrow where we can get on with even more small business stuff. So I'll see you tomorrow. Last night my eye so fly oh my oh my i've been thinking about you all night i can't get you off my mind i'm out on deep water it's too late i've crossed the border i'm busy hard by cupid bay hi guys it's now the next day it's wednesday the 13th of march I've spent this morning packing up the rest of those Etsy orders that I didn't finish on Monday was it or was it yesterday? I can't even remember now. But anyway, the rest of the Etsy orders are packed and ready to go. We have a nice pile of them right here. So that's what I've been doing this morning. And I'm gonna take those to the post office in a little bit because I'm going to see and meet Chloe this afternoon from Hoppity Designs. We're going to Starbucks for a little coffee and lunch date, taking our laptops and doing a bit of work there. So I'm gonna take all those parcels on the way to Starbucks later. We're going there for one o'clock and it's now quarter to 12 so it's taking me quite a while to get all those orders packed and I also spent the early hours of the morning getting yesterday's vlog footage finished so I'm keeping on top of editing this vlog like in real time so the previous two days have been edited and then whatever I film today I will edit at the end of today and hopefully I'll be able to get this up tomorrow which is Thursday or maybe Friday we'll see but yeah I'm feeling really productive today we've got lots done already and we've got a little bit of time left before we have to go to Starbucks and I had a thought this morning because when I woke up I read for a little bit on my kindle I'm reading A Court of Thorns and Roses and oh my gosh I'm obsessed why did I not read this sooner anyway that's another story but I was reading a couple of chapters of that this morning and if you've watched the previous few vlogs you'll know that I recently came out with a couple of new bookish stickers so you'll have definitely seen one of them because it was earlier on in the vlog I made up some of these and it's the holographic books are my jam sticker so it's a jam jar full of books how cute is that so that's one of them and then the other one that I came out with was this one and it's the library card sticker so it's got a little night owl on it and it says member id night owl and it's the late night reader library card so these two stickers are fairly new on the shop and i really need to start using designs across multiple different products like these so i thought how cute would these look as magnetic bookmarks i think they will look super cute obviously i don't think i'll do this as a holographic magnetic bookmark i think i'll just have it as the normal satin card that i use for the magnetic bookmarks if you can hear loads of noise in the background it's otis because he's rummaging around and playing with his toys um, so apologies about that if you can hear it but yeah I'm gonna try and make these into some magnetic bookmarks and see what they turn out like so I'm gonna go ahead and make the files for them and I will come back to you when we are in the process of making these and we'll see what they look like <laughs> just finished playing around with the bookmarks and I have made some backing cards for them as well and this one looks really good look this is the books are my jam magnetic bookmark how cute is that and obviously it's the same on the back and it claps claps clasps together and here's the backing card I've made for it oh that's so satisfying and I think this one looks really cute I've sized this one well I just kind of did it on a whim but that's what that one looks like. How gorgeous is that? Oh my god. Why didn't I do this sooner? Literally, I have no idea. And then this is the little library card one. Oh, it's 
so cute. And again, it's got the same magnetic clasp, but the backing card I've made for this one doesn't look quite right. And it's printed wrong at the bottom. Like the text is all overlapping. I don't know how I've managed that. I did it in a bit of a rush, to be honest, because I need to head off to Scarbucks. Starbucks in a minute but yeah I'll just clasp this one on here but as you can see it's like really close to the top so I don't know whether to make it a bit longer so it kind of sits here on the backing card or maybe I'll just move the little illustrations on the backing card like down here to fill this space but yeah, it's just too high up, if you know what I mean. So I need to figure out the backing card for this one. Or maybe just make the actual magnetic bookmark a little bit longer. Let me know what you guys think. And these will be up on the website as soon as I figure out the backing card situation for this one. Because yeah, I just need to sort that out before I photograph them and stuff. But it is now time to head off to Starbucks. So I'm going to grab my bits that I'm taking there and we'll go and sit in Starbucks for a couple of hours with Chloe and see what we're going to get done. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself to get loads done in Starbucks. I'll probably just reply to the emails that I need to reply to and just do a few admin bits that I've been putting off, to be honest. So nothing too exciting. So I'll see you when I'm in Starbucks. <laughs> it's now much later on in the day but I just thought I'd pop back on to sign this vlog off. I had a lovely time at Starbucks, we ended up going to Tesco after as well for a little bit of a shop and I got some cute little flowers for my office. I've not arranged them very well at all so I need to rearrange them and scatter the little pink carnations around a bit better because they're all just in the middle at the minute but yeah i got some cute flowers for my office and i didn't get loads done in starbucks because we were just having a catch-up mostly and we got some lunch but i did make a new banner for my youtube channel so i will put a picture on that on screen now so hopefully you guys like it i feel like it matches the aesthetic of my channel a lot better than the one I had previously. I did manage to do something in Starbucks, but it wasn't like the most productive session, but we didn't really go there to work anyway. It was more just a catch up, but it was really lovely. And I'm gonna sign this vlog off for this week. I really hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for these past few days. If you have enjoyed this vlog and are not yet subscribed, then make sure you do that so you don't miss any future videos. And if you could give this video a like as well, so I know you enjoyed it and it helps push these videos out to other people who like this kind of stuff too thank you so much again for watching and hopefully i'll see you very soon in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.